All right, welcome back. We've already run a vapor mode scan using the MX908. Now we're going to show you how to do a trace uh, sample run with the MX908 mass spectrometer. Okay, this, this is the original swab. And what you do when you're going to run a trace sample like we're going to do now is that you run a swab of the swab of the swab. You want to go from the highest concentration and then minimize and start with the lowest concentration first. And we're going to open our trace sampling adapter here, insert the swab, close the adapter, hit trace, and run. Go ahead. We've done it. We've inserted the swab. It gives you all these hints telling you what to do. The reason we start from the least concentration to highest concentration is you don't want to put too much product into the instrument and cause a saturation problem or a clear down problem later. The good thing about these, uh, these instruments is if you do get too much product in there and it needs to be cleaned and it's, it's not uh, clearing out, you can literally pop the core out, clean it in alcohol, put another core in in a matter of you know, a minute. It's just two screws for the core to pop out and replace. No target detected. That's not a bad thing. Can we can we rewind? I just wanted to prove I'm right. Here, I, That's I don't the beauty get, of run, uh, magic cameras. Run run another sample. So what I did was take a sample from earlier, one of our earlier videos when we did a sample uh, of the Gemini detection. And when Al was doing the point and shoot detection method, if you could see, it's just a little, not even a smudge that's on the case. So after cleaning, I did a trace sample of it and then I swiped the swab. Swab of the swab of the swab. Yeah, I did a swab of the swab of the swab because if you can't see it, that'd be a perfect sample. And then I ran a sample and we got the black powder that in real time, about an hour ago, of just a little bit of like residue on the... That's impressive. On the box. All right. And then when you get a hit, you could go into details. Gives you what it is, health effects, uh, IDLH for certain chemicals or explosives that you might have, a description of it, the chemical use, the nefarious use, and related materials all within that product once you get a positive hit on an item. That's impressive it got black powder. All right. Somebody didn't believe me. No, I, I didn't. I'm telling you, this is such an improvement over the last uh, the device. It really is. All right. Close out. Sure. So I'm Dave Brown, that's Alan Higgins, and this is the MX908. Thanks for watching. I feel like I'm not looking at you. I'm like looking at you, but not the camera. Should I look at the camera? Yeah. Like this instead of you? Yeah. That was that, cool. That is really yeah. badass. I know. I I'm talking, again, this is such I an improvement. I didn't want to say nothing, but I did black powder before but with, the, with these new ones. Uh, I've never run black powder on an yeah. MX. That's impressive. And that's why I was like, when you went over there, I was like, he won't let me do it if it's here because of his strong personality. So I'll just do it while his back's turned. <laughs>